So about adopting a pet, here's are the, th- the things you really need to know. So why you should adopt a pet? Because it, you can offer a second chance to animals in need. Animal welfare organizations really have a diverse selection of pets available for adoption. You know, anything you want, like you need to find that match and they're there. It's just maybe they're just not young and puppy like you know some people prefer to get them like small right from the start purebred but these are different you offer a second chance but you still get the same things it's just maybe they come with other like veterinary fees and all that most of these shelters offer cats dogs hamsters gerbils rabbits i think that's it i mean in singapore we don't really have a wide range of pets really like legal here so i think whatever is legal you can adopt before being matched to the potential and it will be gets matched to the potential pet owners these pets have been sterilized and screened so they need to make sure that the pets are completely okay before going home and you know medically fit if not the owner is able to care for them and there definitely most likely will be adoption fees it may not be like ranging the thousands like the cost of buying a whole new pet like you know compared to pet stores so i i guess people do opt for adoption because it's cheaper but also the fees really like you know it's not for nothing it includes like all the cost of things they used to take care of the pet that you are adopting or maybe other pets because you know administrative costs so um sometimes when you pay for like the fee you're also paying for the vaccinations like deworming sometimes even sterilization if, if you're lucky because the process is expensive okay by adopting a pet the money you give covers the cost and like cost of like the the animal's initial veterinary fees on top of that you also helping potentially helping the other animals in the shelter the cons of adopting a pet you might potentially have like unpleasant shocks because an older pet comes with like baggages emotional baggage i guess also adopting an animal you get to give them the life they they should have you know like being cared for properly you the really really like scary side of adoption for animals is when they're aggressive because some animals really have trauma from being uh kicked and all that like i've watched those videos it's like it's just upsetting to see how cruel people can be towards animals if the shelter doesn't do it well that's why it's not completely their responsibility to make it like make sure the pet's completely clear of all this trauma but i think like giving them the love they deserve will make them into a new almost like give them the second chance to make them into a new pet to avoid these unpleasant shocks you can just maybe adopt a younger animal i'm not saying the younger animal has it's necessarily free from all these um burdens I think it's just, it's easier to reform them because they're still young and you can train them. Also, an older pet would be more, I think because they're older, they have, it's harder to really ingrain like a new mindset into them as well. I think you can avoid these shocks also by maybe finding the right animal. You can't just, just because it looks nice doesn't mean it's nice. You have to find some, like a pet that really clicks with you. Let me just shortlist it. You just need to make sure, like, you know, choose the right pet, look at the situation, like, you know, circumstances like as to why they're like that and also age matters even though an older pet may not be as appealing because some people want puppies cute small fluffy an older pet also maybe toilet trained actually it's a good it's a good side to it they're toilet trained and they're less energetic because they're old and yeah so you don't really have to spend much time training them besides rehabilitating them and giving them the love they need before you adopt a pet right you should look at the pet itself it saves you a trip saves you time just go onto the internet these websites now come with galleries which is amazing so i I would say it's like window shopping for a pet they come with really detailed descriptions as well so i'm gonna read out a few maybe you can take a look there is action for singapore dogs animal lovers league bunny wonderland for bunnies cat welfare society they really are very responsible in making sure like the the owner is well prepared so they would go visit your house and screen everything and they require you to net up everything so they're really like i admire their dedication towards the well-being of cats especially after they go to their homes which is good adopt from them there's causes for animals exclusively mongrels hamster society singapore house rabbit society singapore mercy light animal rescue and sanctuary i think they, they do offer like mostly dogs but I, you can look into that noah's, noah's art cares oasis second chance animal shelter and purely adoptions oh no there's also save out street dogs which have like they, they take dogs off the street and also sterilize them and put them into homes save out street dogs i feel like it's more towards people who really are not very mindful of the breed but you know what it's the heart that matters not looks there's society for prevention of spca society of prevention of cruelty to animals which is one of the top choices because everyone knows it. it's the main shelter of singapore yeah it's a top choice so 
for adopting pets they have everything like i've been there that's the first shelter i went to just take a look they have everything there there was a guinea pig section i think i'm not sure if the new one has a guinea pig section they have dogs cats hamsters rabbits and the thing is i think you can just get it on the spot. You can adopt and bring the pet home immediately. There is an adoption fee required, but on top of that, I think it's also the biggest shelter. You can have a look around. It's really good. They updated the facilities as well. It's even like a gift store. If you don't want to get any pets, you can just buy stuff from the gift store. Voices for animals. This is for people who want purebred dogs. They only have dogs, and these dogs mostly consist of like purebred ex puppy mill dogs. So you know, the, you know how the story goes. They're just used for breeding. Really bad like environment, cramped in the small cages. But after they let the dog out, dog goes to voices for animals. Unfortunately. These dogs are old, okay? You can't find a puppy from them. Maybe rarely, okay? I know most of the dogs there are like small dogs. Because you know most of the dogs in Singapore are small dogs as a matter of fact. And the demand is higher. So you if you want a small purebred dog that's just old, you can go to Voices for Animals. I don't mean in a rude way though. All in all, to be noted, some shelters do not sterilize their dogs or have them fully vaccinated. That's not a bad thing. It's for you to do when you adopt. It's your responsibility as an owner. So maybe... If you're not paying for the medical fees, maybe, wait, no, the sterilization fees or the vaccination fees, you're still paying for other things like deworming, food, etc. And I think you need to also have that, like, money, okay? You need to be financially stable in order to, like, get a pet. So, that's on you. 